Hey everybody, it's Beth. Today I'm taking these two canvases and removing all of the staples and the canvas from them. This one is a 7x7 from Walmart, the other is a 4x6 from Dollar Tree. The larger frame I covered in antique wax by Waverly and blended that wax in with a baby wipe. The smaller frame I painted with sheepskin color chalk paint by Folk Art, giving that two coats. I took the smaller frame and traced that out on some cardboard. This was just a gift box I had left over. And I am applying Mod Podge to the white side so I don't have to paint it. I apply a nice generous layer, making sure to cover it completely, and I dry that Mod Podge. Next I'm taking this napkin that I got from Amazon and I pull off the second layer from it. And I cut one of the sections off of it. And I have to do some piecing together. So what I do is I just take some water on a paintbrush and run it along the image I want to start with. It just looks better when it's not a straight line when I'm trying to piece it together. So I just place the center image and then I take another part of the napkin and I just see where I want to cut it, which I do the cutting with the water and the paintbrush again. And I pull that apart and then just place it right over the edge of one side and then do the same thing on the other side. And this way, using the water and breaking apart the napkin, it just looks a lot nicer when you have to add a little piece here and there. I then carefully placed down some parchment paper so it didn't move it around. And then I just kind of pressed my iron on there so it would adhere before I keep moving the iron around all over the place. So I just iron it on, it reactivates the Mod Podge and seals down that napkin. And then go in with some more Mod Podge and where the napkins were overlapping a little, I just added some of the Mod Podge to connect them. And then use my heating tool to dry that. And then cut off the excess napkin around the cardboard. Once that was completely dry, I took another layer of Mod Podge and added that on top of the napkin, using my heating tool to dry that layer. And it did create a few wrinkles and air bubbles on the sides where I had kind of patched it together. So I just went back in with some Saran Wrap and just pushed down on those wrinkles and bubbles to smooth those out. And to attach it to my frame, I am using tacky glue. And I'm just brushing that on one side of the frame. And then I place down my cardboard with the image on it. I just push it down with my hands at first. And then I go in with my heating tool and kind of dry the glue. Just pushing it down as I went. Next, I am attaching the smaller frame to the larger one. I just add some hot glue to the very corners of the smaller frame, and then I place that down on to the larger frame. And to add a hanger, I just take some twine and place it on the back of the larger frame and staple that into place, and then add some hot glue for extra stability. That is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.